Welcome back, everybody. More Doki Doki Literature Club. More accidentally skipping dialogue. Let's see here. That's just... <coughs> Last time on Doki Doki Literature Club. Yugi, Yuri gave me a book. And she's excited. She says I can read it however fast or slow I want to. Now that everyone's in the settled in, Monica's going to do something. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me, but I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and end up listening, to, listening in on Sayori's conversation with Monica. Probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of the literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing everyone something that speaks to their creative minds. <laughs> oh, no. That doesn't solve the problem, though. What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, no one will ever come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? After they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori is taking this really seriously. It's rare to see her deliberating like this. Ah, oh, that's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Ah, uh, well, I guess we could... Cupcakes! <laughs> uh, she just doesn't even care. <laughs> good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Natsuki, you want to chime in on this and tell us how you feel? Yeah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Moo. <laughs> cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sierra is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sierra can put her mind into things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh! <laughs> why are you so close to me? Who are? Can you please back up about four or five steps? You about knocked me out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. Well, that's rude. It's your fault sleeping like that. Well, I'm tired. This isn't the napping club. Oh, my gosh. Does our school have a napping club? <laughs> Sign me up. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Yeah. Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know? Don't you dare. You take that back, you stupid red bow. That's it. No, you just got yourself out of the ruling. No more. I, I'm not. No. There's one of the four girls ruled out. No Sayori for this guy. You need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah. I know. I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> It's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me, but then you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh, uh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's, it's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Jeez. 
Look, Sierra, it's written all over you. Eh? Sierra glances around at her. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's written all over me. Uh, you were clearly in a rush this morning. Look at your hair. It's sticking out all around here. Eh. I run my fingertips down the side of Sierra's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a, really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get right. She does have really messy hair. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look at your bow isn't straight either. And there's the toothpaste stain in your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain with my fingers. But no one would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's going to tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I don't care about that. <laughs> you meanie. You don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Oh my god. Eh? <laughs> Jeez. That is... That is super mean. That is terrible. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. <laughs> A little close there, aren't we? I admire the art. Why is her shirt shiny? Why is my shirt shiny? Why are my hands so shiny? This is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking about how weird it is to have a friend who does all these kinds of things. Eh. Don't, don't say that. You make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> did when I bought it. Uh, if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed it sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? It means my boobs got bigger again. <laughs> don't, don't say that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, you look so much better now. So, uh, why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy. Eee. Not worth it at all! Siri hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. <clears throat> Phew! That's so much better. Siri puts her arms out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying it like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't let you do things like this. You take care of me better than any else would anyway. Yeah, I do, I guess. Don't get all cheeky, though. I'm keeping it up, but stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. If you focus on going to bed a little earlier. Ooh, that was weird. Fine, fine. It's a deal. No more late night Gurren Lagan. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we really are better taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? Well, maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Make a time please. I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. Tells us on enthusiastic, enthusiastic. But Sierra still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out the poem. The air is wrinkled sheet of blue sleep torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Okay. I guess this is kind of where it starts. Uh, so, we're 
we're gonna rule out no nope i don't think so i've never really been even in egg anime the trope of the like the, the like i've been your friend since we were five and we've always been with each other together and we're just destined to be no i, I don't go for that no 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 uh i natsuki hasn't had a lot of like chances to really talk but she's really brash and but she really likes like cute stuff i guess so she just wants to seem tougher or older uh yuri is the same thing like she's, she's not really tall like none of the other three apart from sayori have talked and it almost feels like the game's like you have to like sayori um so i'm gonna i think i'm gonna break the mold and, and uh who yuri first yuri seems the most experienced so i should start with her i can trust her opinion to be fair Moo. Mmm. Moo! <laughs> Yuri stares at the poem. A moment passes. A minute passes. More than enough time for her to finish reading. Um. Oh. Sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Wow. Uh, um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading to it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. She's really got that kind of uh, Sundara thing going on. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I didn't really notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing, noticeable thing that I realized in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and then they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she almost sounds like an expert. Of course, it's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Not that you can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. Yeah, that's rude. That's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily if it's a rare, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, this is, isn't this supposed to be the literature club? Okay. <coughs> <coughs> literature theater with Megaton plays. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I, okay, I flicker back. Uh, I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. You took a long time to read. I'm not a good reader. I don't know how to read well. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? Hoo hoo. <laughs> Actually, the story is about a ghost at all, Megaton plays. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after I, I took a long time to read it, but I only glanced over it. 
But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than a simple story, tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her past, last remaining place of comfort. <gasps> so sorry. Unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. That's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. I have to get a drink of my delicious hot tea. Slurp. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Okay. Um, then I guess if my second pick of one of the girls... Uh, it's going to be Nazi, just because I don't know much about her. And Yuri mentioned her name specifically. Moo! Moo? Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. That's a little blunt. Oh. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said I was bad. It just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste? Do you want to get smacked? I have bad men. I'll pass. Sigh! Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. <clears throat> Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. That's about it. That was... I don't, I don't get it. Yeah. I told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. I, I don't. I don't like it. Just disclaimer. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks the writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't take my writing seriously. I'm trying to take this game seriously. I promise. It's just it's a it's a dating simulator and it's way outside my comfort zone. But isn't the point of poems? For people to express themselves, your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I'd like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say who I sound like. I don't want to get the cops right. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but they made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I said to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Nasuki is feeling proud, I won't take that away from her. Good guy, me. Monica. <coughs> Why is she the only one that stares right at you? She's even look standing at attention. I make a top place. Having a good time so far? Eh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring these things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Megaton, please. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But that's sort of a barrier we'll have to learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. So, oh, is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if the, you had these sort of things in common. Ah, uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about it. It sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. 
even if you show it in different ways. It ends up being more similar than you think. So, I think that's kind of the vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading into it too much? Ha ha ha, I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in any case, Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. You shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little biased towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> she never breaks her glance. She stares the entire time. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. <coughs> Whoa. Okay. Let's uh, have another sip of this beautiful hot tea. I, oh, I can mouse scroll. Good. Hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction this back will protrude? A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel blind like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retina is already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. Wow, that is some deep stuff, man. I don't even... So what do you think? It's very free-form, if that's what you call it. I'm sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Was... What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influenced my poems a bit. Yeah. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone has better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. So you try so hard to make it perfect, and you'll never make any progress. Okay. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper. Tidy it up and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show my poem to? Hi. Move! Oh my goodness! This is so good, Megaton, please! Uh. I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer. Hey, Ori. You must be seriously overreacting. I keep right clicking for some reason. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of the other people, you know? When I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Megaton Plays poem. It sure is. That makes it extra special indeed. Ah, uh, take a drink of tea for that one. I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy that you wrote, that you just you wrote one. It reminds me of how you're really a part of the club now. That's 
mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room? Uh, well, of course, I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, make it tough, please. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know? What's that supposed to mean? Trying new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here, but then again, I can't deny she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah, and I'm going to make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you read my poem too, right? No. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. <clears throat> One more sip of tea. <clears throat> wow, I would have loved that music in this. This is actually very delightful. Speaking of which, I understand the music was messed up in the last video, and I apologize. Thank you for giving me another chance to tap back into it. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast! <laughs> Sayori. It's just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No! Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit. It's a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late for school? It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this is so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. Next time I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. I'm going to save on this few. I'm going to save it. I don't know. I feel like I should save, like, several. Oops. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> Lord of mercy. Woo. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. There was a little more. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated, as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they were just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. It's a literature club after all. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily toddling, chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this? What's with this language? Uh, did she say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Oh, hey. It didn't really come up nice at all. This seems like it's going to get heated really fast. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Humph! If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. They already liked it. Megaton Plays did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some, some suggestions of my own. First of all, Excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. <clears throat> and Megaton plays like my phone too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. 
ho, 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 ho. Oh, not that he stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh, what's with the music? I feel like they're getting ready to fist fight. That's not what I... Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Megaton Plates appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ugh. Uh, is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew as I make it as soon as Megaton Plates found my Oh, they're going at each other. Natsuki. Oh, Natsuki, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. I don't like fighting, guys! Suddenly, both girls turned toward me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Megaton plays. She, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meaning should jump out to the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to our Megaton plays. Wait, there's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. The only way to convey complex feelings and meaning, the most effective, it's the only way to convey meanings effectively. I don't know how to read. Avoiding them is not overly necessary, unnecessary limiting yourself. It's also a waste to understand that, right, Megaton plays? Uh, well, <laughs> moo. How did I get dragged into this? It's not like I know anything about writing. Whoever I grew with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Uh, I'm gonna help me, Sayori. I've tempted to click help me, Sayori. I'm going, you know what? Okay, I'm making a conscious decision. At this point, it's time to not hear Yuri. And I think it's, I feel more led to uh, choose Yuri. So I'm gonna say Yuri, not to see. You're right that I like your poem. See. Wait, that's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone, someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. Yuri wouldn't even take my poem seriously. Mm, I understand. Yuri. Yeah? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it, and it becomes something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. Let's see. I didn't notice that I... Sorry. Uh. But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well. And if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did. It was her that... Did I, did I like, oh, I didn't realize that it was gonna like upset her so bad though. Natsuki, I think that's enough. You both said some things that you didn't mean. Yuri apologized, don't you think you should do? <clears throat> Natsuki clenches her fist. In the end, nobody has taken her side. She's trapped at this point being defiant. Uh, at this point being defiant only because, uh, only because she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her. Uh, um. Sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori, she doesn't need to. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'll sp it'll spare me from having to look at all your faces right now. Without worrying, warning, Natsuki snatches her poem up from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. Natsuki. She really didn't need to do that. I look across the room. Yuri has her chin buried in her hands while she stares down at her desk. I gingerly approach her and sit in an adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything all right? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No, Yuri. How could anyone have gotten? Fr How could anyone not have gotten frustrated after being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, all right. I believe you. Thanks, Megaton Plates. You're too kind. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm thankful to have you part of this club now. Uh, that's nothing. One more thing. Um, that one thing Natsuki said about, you know, 
I would never do anything so shameful. So, uh, what thing did not think you said? I don't know what to do for that one. That's gonna... Noise! Uh, um, well, never mind that. I'm gonna make some tea. Ah, good idea. I'll have a drink. Making up for more than one person, okay? Y yeah. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say it was worth it. It was all right. Well, mostly. Megatron, please. How about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat, to, it was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow, and maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. Moo. I think to myself, I did learn a little bit more about the kind of poems everyone likes. With any luck, that means at least I can do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Make a time, please. Ready to walk home? Sure. Let's go. Like the end of this episode has came, so let's go. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, I hopefully you're going to join me in this journey as I try to... Uh, Name the wild beasts that are these anime girls. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway, um, if you've enjoyed the video, like it, favorite. Uh, make sure if you have not ring my bell yet, ring my bell, and that will let you know whenever I, I sneeze or cough or do something on YouTube. Anyway, uh, as usual, please come back and check me out again. Till then, fist bump and tap a lord. Shining through